Hello and welcome. I'm Ashley and I'm so excited to be sharing with you today my favorite, what I think are the best berry lipsticks. So I am sharing with you today six berry lipsticks that I swear by. I'm going to show you them on my lips so you can see what they look like with a skin color, skin tone like mine. So if you're someone similar, it'll give you a good idea of what they look like on you. And even if you're not similar to my skin tone, you'll still be able to see the swatch of what it looks like. And I've got shades from like more muted to bold. So there's like a really nice spectrum here. I also included a variety of different finishes. So there's gonna be some matte, some satin, and some more shine finishes. Before we get into the lipsticks, if you would give this video a thumbs up, it really helps out my channel and it's completely free. It's completely free, it costs you nothing. All right, the first lipstick is more on like the muted mauve kind of everyday shade range of berry. It is Tom Ford lip color in the shade Night Mauve. I am in love with this shade. It is such a good like berry rose that almost has a hint of a mauve to it. This is a great everyday lipstick. This is a berry that you can wear throughout the year. I have been looking for years for a berry that I could use year round that would feel like holiday during holiday, but then also be able to be used in spring and summer and not be like, okay, why are you wearing that? Why are you wearing that here in summer? Not that anyone should care. You know, it's not really anyone else's business. But for me, I just wanted something that was like a berry that could go for every season. This is that color. This tone, oh my God. Gosh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. This is a really good shade if you are someone who's wanting to kind of dip your toe into the berry pond. Maybe you're like, you know what? Berries generally feel too bold for me. I don't think I can go that bold yet, Ashley. This is a good starter one. It's a good starter because it's going to have more of like that mauve to it. It's definitely more of a everyday quote unquote berry. Next up is the Laura Mercier Matte Velour Lipstick in the shade Power. This is a raspberry kind of berry to me. Some people might call this red. To me, this is a berry. It looks like a raspberry. I, to me, I think it looks like I've been like eating raspberries and they got all over my face, you know, but in a good way, in a good way. It has a nice matte finish. I don't always go for matte finishes. This one is very comfortable. If you're someone who likes a matte finish, you're really gonna enjoy this. And what I really love about this formula is that it's in a crayon format. You don't feel like you have to do a lip liner before you do the lipstick and it just makes it really easy to be more precise without an additional product. Just as an aside, I don't have a lip liner on with any of these lipsticks today. I'm just showing you the lipsticks themselves so you can see what they look like, true to color, straight on. You can see the opacity and the finish without any other product on the lips. Next up is the shade I'm actually wearing today. This is Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in Scarlet Spell. This is like a rich, like red wine berry. It's like a nice scarlet. It looks to me like a gorgeous red rose is what it really reminds me of. I absolutely am in love with this shade. I feel like this looks so beautiful. I love it with this look today, and especially against like this white sweater. I just think it's such a beautiful contrast. I picked this up because of the beautiful Kate the Great, who, I, I mean, I feel like at this point I mention her in every video, but you know what? She's my friend and I'm really excited about it. So I'm just, you know, I'm not gonna stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Charlotte Tilbury actually describes this as like the little black dress for lips. I have to agree, I think this is a great berry shade. I feel like the shade, she is so good at coming up with shades that are universally flattering. This is such a beautiful, beautiful shade and a beautiful formula. Some of the earlier Matte Revolution lipsticks that I purchased like a couple years ago, I felt were a little too matte for me. This one is not, this is a matte, but it's a very comfortable matte and it doesn't look dried out or drying or anything like that. To me, this is somewhere, like for me, this would be like right between a matte and a satin. And if you guys know anything about me, it's that I love stuff that are that's in the middle. If a product is like in the middle of two things, I absolutely love that because I find it so versatile and I love finding happy mediums. Like to me, that's just golden. So absolutely in love with this lip. I just, I'm like, I was like thinking, which video do I wanna wear for my berry lip video? And I was like, I wanna wear Scarlet Spell because it's just, I mean, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Next up, we have the Hourglass Girl Lip Stylo. This is the shade Liberator. 
So this is the mauviest berry that I have on this list. So if you're someone who generally likes mauves, you're probably gonna like this lipstick. I think this is a really great stepping stone to go from mauve to berry. It's a little bit similar to the Tom Ford, but, but different. So this has a soft shine finish that I absolutely love. It's a great cross. Again, it's a happy medium between a satin and a shine finish, which I love. And again, it's a crayon. It makes it so easy to apply. It glides on beautifully. And this is one of my favorite lip formulas for the simple fact that when it wears down, it wears down to like a stain. Like it looks like a stain, like you used a lip stain. So this is a great shade if you're gonna be having like a holiday dinner or you're going out to dinner or doing something where you're gonna be eating and drinking. This is a really good formula for that because it's gonna wear down to look like a stain. Now, most of the, again, another aside, most of the lip products that I'm talking about here, actually all of these, they wear down nicely. I am a huge stickler about that because here's the thing. We are huge eating, drinking people. Like we always have like cheese boards out, especially around the holidays, but anything where we're getting together with family or even just our immediate family, we do like a charcuterie plate. We do wine. We have little hors d'oeuvres out. Like we are grazers. We're eating, we're drinking, we're laughing, we're talking. I am not someone that's gonna go reapply my lipstick every other hour, every three hours. I'm just not. I'm not gonna do it. I refuse. So honestly, I notice when I'm wearing lipsticks, when I go to the bathroom, I use the bathroom as I'm washing my hands, which you should do. Wash your hands, please. God, let's get out of this. Wash your hands. As I'm washing my hands, I will look and see my lipstick. If I have a lipstick that doesn't wear down nicely, if it looks wonky, if it's like bleeding and stuff, I immediately like, that's it we're done, we're not friends anymore. Because to me, I want a lipstick that's gonna wear down and look lived in and nice. That's what's practical to me, I love that. I definitely have gotten to this place where what I appreciate about makeup and beauty, I want stuff that wears down and looks effortless and natural, like a very just relaxed approach to beauty. Like after I put it on, I don't wanna to have to think about it again. So this lipstick in particular, the Hourglass Liberator Shade, it does wear down very nicely to a stain, very evenly, I would say more evenly than any of the other ones on this list, but all of these products will wear down nicely. They're not gonna look cattywampus after you've been eating and drinking. They wear down very evenly and very nicely. So next up we have another Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, but this is a formula that is actually new to me. I only got these a couple months ago, this formula. It is the Superstar Lips formula, and this is the shade Walk of No Shame. So I did an entire video on the Walk of No Shame collection absolutely love it just spoiler alert of course i do this is actually this shade of lipstick not this formula but this shade was actually the number one selling lip shade in great britain i think for a couple years because as i i spoke about this in a the video that i did on the walk of no shame collection but this is a very popular wedding shade for quite a few celebrities this is a nice berry rose and what i love about this formula is it is a shine finish. So you have a great, like comfortable lipstick that you can wear alone and you still have a little bit of a gloss, a little bit of a shine to it. You don't have to do like a lipstick and then a gloss. And again, you're seeing it just the lipstick. There's no liner, there's no gloss, there's nothing. This is one product. It's such an easy, like throw it on and go kind of berry lip color. Again, all of these can stand alone. They're all really good formulas and really flattering shades, which is why I love them because I am a connoisseur of berry lips. So absolutely love the Superstar Lips from Charlotte Tilbury and Walk of No Shame. It's just such a good one and done glossy berry lipstick. The last lipstick that I'm gonna be sharing is another shine formula. This is the Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Velup Shine Formula in the shade Burgundy Love. This is a more sheer option. That's why I wanted to include it. It gives you a nice stain. It's honestly like, a like dark red wine stain. It reminds me of like, if I'm drinking like a Tempranillo, it's like that. I love, okay, number one, Spanish wines are my favorite. I'm just gonna let you know. Um, you can get Tempranillos from other places though, because Tempranillo is the type of grape. Nobody's here for a wine lesson, Ashley. No one's here for a wine lesson. 
The point is, this is just a beautiful like deep red wine stain that you're gonna get on the lips. It's so lovely, it's so comfortable, and it's a nice sheer formula. So if you're looking for a sheer berry option, this is a really good one, and I again love that this is a shade that's kind of in between a red and a berry. It's just a nice middle ground. I think it's a really lovely lipstick. I have really been enjoying this one a lot this season. This is another one of those, this lipstick in particular, after I've had it on and I've been eating and drinking, I noticed that it wears down to just look like my lips kind of got a little bit stained with wine and it's again just one of those beautiful like effortless kind of chic looks that I just absolutely love and I like products like that it's really great when a product you can put it on and then even as it wears off it just it takes on a new kind of life but it still looks refreshing and very beautiful so absolutely love this formula. I have this formula in many shades, but this is my favorite berry shade of the Rouge for Love Shine formula. All right, that wraps up the best berry lipsticks, my very favorite berry lipsticks. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite berry lipstick? I wanna know, I really wanna know. I love berry lipsticks. I, a good berry lipstick, I cannot resist. I like reds too, but there's something about a berry that just to me, berry is even more holiday than red. I honestly believe that in my heart. That's, I mean, maybe that's just my personal style, but that's what I'm going with. I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, you take care of yourself. Bye.